And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there. Hey, what's up, Vincent? Thanks for that resub there. Sub number four on the day. Thank you so much, Vincent. So we're going to be playing some Bant Arcbow here in Mythic. Trying to get to the top thousand in Mythic because that qualifies you for the next Magic Cup um, or Magic Championship qualifier MCQ. Right now I'm at number 1135, uh, 18 hours to go. Um, so we need to, you know, I want to try to end today like around number 500 or so. Uh, you know, we'll just kind of play a little bit until we, uh, you know, get get healthily into the top thousand, hopefully. You know, hopefully we don't hit a, a big losing streak here. So these are some pretty important matches for us. Um, but I don't know how, exactly how long, you know, if we, if we like play like, you know, two or three matches and it has us jump up, then, you know, maybe that'll be it for tonight. So we'll see how, um, we'll see how many of these we go, but yeah, this is our, this is the band Arpo deck that, uh, again, I, I recommend it at the end of last week for like the MCQs last weekend, uh, played it a couple of days ago, did well with it, uh, on stream. And this is just my, my favorite ranked deck right now. It's my best ranked deck that I've been having the most success with so far so uh, the goal of course is just get vivian's arcbow in play and let vivian's arcbow take over find shalai lyra and have shalai lyra really take over the game so that's what we got let's uh give it a try let's see how it goes bant arcbow wait no we're going to ranked traditional ranked bant arcbow there we go <laughs> thanks drom thanks mr previously Yeah, I heard something about that too, that uh, MTG Salvation was going to be shut down soon. I don't know, I don't know anything more than that. That's just like all I've heard. No, Oketra is only a cast trigger. So no, if you put in a creature into play off of Arcbow, you do not get a, uh, you do not get the 4-4 Zombie Warrior token. On loose so this looks like the steal all your stuff deck, which I think we have a pretty decent matchup with again. Like overall, um, they have a good good starting hand here though, pretty fast, being on the play also. Um, play another paradise druid with this paradise druid. Mm, incubation druid. The goal is certainly to, uh, like in this matchup, if, if this is like the steal all your stuff matchup, which is what it looks like, the goal is definitely to um, get the Shalai spark double combo so they can't steal any of my stuff. We're probably just going to be activating Arcbow the rest of the game, most likely. That's unfortunate. Now I kind of wish I would have saved this deputy to take that thing. But I, I played the Deputy there because my plan was starting with four mana to activate Arcbow the rest of the game, starting with four. So that's why I did that. That Vivian right there is just pretty unfortunate. Alright, come on, Shalai. Nice. There's a Shalai. Blood 
Blocking here so that they don't have the mana to steal anything. Unfortunately, we saw two Lyras go to the bottom, and Lyra is like a, another really great card for me to hit. Let us talk of peace. One, two, three, four. I don't think I play Oketra here. Well, I'm glad. It, I'm definitely glad I didn't play Oketra. Ditch a Temple Garden. Uh, for the next M Mythic Championship qualifier, you have to be top thousand. I think they're just going to do that every single season. It's just if you get top thousand, you qualify for a Mythic Championship qualifier in the future. I'm pretty sure it's just the thing they're going to have for, like, into perpetuity, like, or at least for the foreseeable future. They're kind of a non-bow, but there's times, like, where you have your Oketra out and they kill your Oketra, you know, with whatever, and you put it back in your deck and then go grab it with Arcbow again. That's certainly something that happens. Yes, they're going to try to steal my Shalai. All right, so we need to hit Frilled Mystic or Spark Double. Or at worst, another Shalai. Got to hit one of those things. Dilt. And so that's why I didn't play the Oketra, because I was keeping that available. Another Lyra would have been good, but we put those Lyras down to the bottom the previous turn. Yeah, that was that was the turn. We needed to hit something. That's our, you know, live by Arcbow, die by Arcbow kind of thing. I mean, honestly, like, we'd have no chance in this game if it wasn't for Arcbow. Right? Like, we would just be getting destroyed. But yeah, Lyra would have been another good hit, because Lyra would have killed this Nyssa. Imagine if we had a, if we had like our sideboard time wipe. Imagine if we had that right now. That'd be pretty great. This game's not over. You're saying concede the game's not over. We can still win this. So they want me to activate Arcbow during during their turn to try to steal something. Yeah, I have one time wipe in the sideboard. Ha! 
harness the elements. All right, so they're stealing all of our stuff, so we need Shalai or Frilled Mystic. Here. Preferably Shalai. They're just going to steal that. What kind of mana do they have left? One, two, three, four. So they only have four mana left. Shalai, please. Want to hit Shalai this time? There we go. And now, Spark Double next time, which I think we have a good chance. We haven't seen the Spark Double yet. I think we have a pretty good chance of hitting the Spark Double. Ah, uh, dang it. All right. Got punished. Got punished. Should have just played the land and just discarded the baffling end. Played a spell. Got punished. Nature's true power. We're like kind of dead here. Yeah, Lyra is our number one target. I could have just activated Growth Chamber Guardian and gone and grab another Growth Chamber Guardian and play that. Lyra? All right, that block's there, that block's there, this block's here, this block's here, this block's here. We're taking five, going down to three. They get an incubation druid back. All right, now we should be able to find Lyra again, you know, like going back another seven deep. I think we're back to the beginning. So I think we kind of have this now. Honestly, I think we're good. The land shall conquer you.
No, it doesn't shuffle. It just puts them on the bottom. So I think we're back to the... I think we're back to Lyra. No! We're not back there yet. Ah, uh, I really thought we were. Another seven cards. Dang, I really thought we were. We're, we're definitely winning that. If, if we had a Lyra there, we're, like the game was over. Like, you know, like we win. If we had Lyra. It feels like Momir. <laughs> this is pretty Momir-ish. All right, get the other Spark Double in there and get the Tristani in there and the Time Wipe. And the Vetoes. And the Mystic. Basically, the only reason why I want Baffling End is because of Krasis. I just don't need this card. That card's just not going to matter. Fairy is good at bouncing my own things after they steal them. Just kind of debating whether I want the fourth one over the Oketra. I honestly thought I was going to be hitting Lyra there and that I was going to be winning that game. I really did. You know, some of y'all were telling me to concede earlier. I thought we were winning that. Ugh, just don't have land drops. This hand's... Basically perfect, there's just no land drops. Well, let's keep it. We'll go with the perfect hand. We can draw lands. That's why we put lands in our deck to draw them. We have this card, which is clutch. This gains us a bunch of life. This counter is Nyssa. Oh, come on. Come on, deck, get us another land. Land drop, land drop. Yeah, yeah. I'm known for my excellent timing. More lands. This Another one. Idea. I've got time. So Nessa here is uh, what would be the worst case scenario, but it's not We will prevail. The land fights for us. nothing like that was that was the worst case scenario but like if I don't if I don't play Shalai then they just get to sit back and activate incubation druid and everything and I think it's right to play Shalai even though it's it's not great against specifically them playing like exactly Nyssa like there's there's nothing really else in their deck they could have played there and now after the Nyssa they need like exactly hydroid crisis and there's nothing else in the deck that's that's a problem besides exactly Hydroid Crisis. So, like, they needed exactly Nissa into exactly Hydroid Crisis for 
playing the Shalai to be bad, or at least, yeah, to get punished instead of holding up Dovin's Veto. It needed to be exactly that. So we'll see if they have exactly that. I really hope they don't. Ugh, they do. Gross. Gross. Well, when you get rid of Teferi and bounce this Krasis, I guess. Don't worry, I got this. Yeah, I just gained four. Let's keep one of these back, actually. Yeah, I like that. I can help you no longer. I don't know if I'm supposed to time wipe here. I don't really want to kill my Shalai. Like, I guess I'd, I mean, I would, I would assume I'd pick up Tristani. Maybe they play, like, a bunch more creatures, though, first. I really want to draw, of course, we really want to draw a Spark Double. That's the card that we want to draw. Because then we can just Spark Double on the Shalai, and then everything has Hexproof. And so we want to draw one of our Spark Doubles. Um, an Arc Bow would also be good. Because Arc Bow. Yeah, I wanted another land. Yep, that's that's what I wanted. I want another land. I know we could go with, like, the Dawnbringer and have, like, the two creatures that... 
like two good creatures. Um, I don't think we really need to do that though. Can we draw a spell? I don't even know how many lands in a row it's been that we've drawn. It's just been a ton. Another crisis. Looks like another crisis. Either that or Big Viv like I don't know if they're playing Big Vivian. They can kill Shalai. <laughs> yeah, this was the game that we kept a two lander, right? And then we missed our or like we were turn three, we topped decked the third land to be able to play Teferi, and we we're like, oh yes. And since then it's just been land, 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 land. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one mana off of playing Dawnbringer and activating Shalai. Our opponent says, oops. Why are they saying oops? Oh, because, oh, right. These things are five fives. That makes sense. Yep, everything's tapped out. <laughs> Those things are five fives. They're pretty big. So, as you can see, Krasis is like the one reason why I would want to have Baffling End. That's something that's scary. Tino, welcome back. Thanks for that resub there. Sub number five on the day. All right, halfway to our goal. And Millennium God as well. Keeping that resub going. Getting those sub hypes. Yeah, if they would have, yeah, if they would have made it smaller, then they would have had to chump block the angel, but then and chump block my other stuff, but they could have chump blocked and survived. All right, we want to get the power of double Shalai in play. That's how we win this matchup. We need double Shalai. Get the ultimate Hexproof. So we'll be able to Frilled Mystic their turn four play, because it'll be turn three for us. So hoping they don't have like turn three Vivian. Okay, that's definitely good news. So no, no five mana planeswalker here. <laughs> They're keeping up frilled mystic. Good. That's more like it. Yeah, that's more like it. 
So I was going to shock in there to have Frilled Mystic and not have to tap Paradise Druid, but... I'm going to be shocking in next turn to play Arcbow, so... And this, this is why I got that Teferi down, so like they couldn't hold up Frilled Mystics. Now like they are priced into playing stuff. Here we go. And with them being priced into playing stuff. We get to just sit back and counter stuff. No, attacking with Druid last turn, like after we played the Teferi, is pretty bad because they could have just had like fourth land entrancing melody take my Paradise Druid, and that would have been uh, that would have been a disaster. So no, after after I played the Teferi, it was not not letting my Paradise Druid shield down. Mono Green Tron felt pretty good. Yes, I know that Dovin's Veto you know, may not counter creatures. I'll veto other stuff, but I want all this attack in here. I've got it. Let's see. Yeah. Because them at 11 means that next turn I can attack for 11 with Frilled Mystic coming in here. So they have to play Sorcery Speed. We have Veto plus Frill Mystic, so this this should just be lethal. I can't I can't imagine they can get around this. Like they're I guess if they had like, you know, multiple mana creatures as a chump block. But like we have like the Teferi to bounce one, so we can like counter one and then bounce one. Yeah, they're they're dead. Frilled Mystic is a heck of a card. Heck of a card. And we're 1 0. So that gets us to number 954. We need to get a little bit higher up here now. But yeah, Mono Green Tron felt pretty good. It, it seemed like it wasn't great against aggro. Um. Like, I wouldn't want to play that against, like, Mono Red, Mono White a bunch, but if you are playing against people that have three and four color mana bases that are pretty stretched with not very many basics, so that Tron deck could really punish those. I wouldn't mind this being the same deck. I think I think that this deck that we're playing right now is really well positioned against the Simic steal all your stuff. So I hope that they're playing that and not like a Bant deck. Obviously this hand is not very good. And it has not really gotten better. Correct, Millennium God. Yeah, same list from the from the weekend. Ow. We will meet again. Could just have another crisis in hand, so I'm going to save this deputy for a little bit. I really need to draw an arc bow 
and turn all these lands into sweet spells. I really need an arc bow. But I need to not see that card. Witness the ties that bind us all. <clears throat> I mean, so I, I think I just have to deputy the Nissa, honestly. So I gotta, like, race Hydroid Crisis or something. But I, I have to deputy Rise, my Nissa. Friend. All right, that can, that can deal with Crisis later. But obviously, Lyra Dawnbringer is very vulnerable to being stolen. Alright, that's fine. Just don't have, don't just top deck another steel effect, please. If we top deck Shalai here, that would be so great. Man, imagine us top decking Shalai and just go Shalai spark double. <laughs> yep, sure is Gypsy. <laughs> You're fine. So if we top deck Shalai, we get to play Shalai, spark double the Shalai. That would just be beautiful. There, one would be a 4-5, the other would be a 5-6. I don't even know. If, I haven't counted this up and see if I'm dead or not. I don't know. Not dead. Alright, come on, Shalai. Oh, I thought that was Shalai! Oh, I thought that was Shalai. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, I thought we did it. Alright, well, the only way to stay alive is I have to waste the Spark Double on the Dawnbringer now. That's the only way to stay alive. All right, if I attack here and go to seven, and they attack back with these, I block here, go to 14. I take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, let's start getting our damage in. So if they brick, I go to, you know, I go back to one. Obviously, if they draw anything, I'm dead. But if, if they drew anything, I'm dead anyway. I really hope I didn't mess up that math. Five, eight. Ooh, they just didn't attack. Wow, just no attacks. Top, top thousand gets you qualified for the next MCQ. the next arena MCQ, if you get finished top thousand. So that's what we're doing here, Get just trying to squeak in there. Hmm. So 
It's an annoying life total to be at. So if I attack out, they go block, 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 block. They go to one. But they get their Nissa back. Yeah, they go to one, but they get their Nissa back, and my 7-7 seven, seven is dead. And then I, I can't get through. This is... Man. Account created 21 minutes ago. Yeah, that, that crisis was perfect. I don't think this is a good attack for me. No, Alpha is not lethal. Yeah, they. So, they would, like, basically what we would do is our seven seven. Like, if we Alpha attacked there, our seven seven would die, and their, uh, their Paradise Druid, Paradise Druid, and Deputy would all die, and then they would get Nissa back. But then I, like, you know, they're sitting at one. And then I, I get to deal six damage to them with this thing. They're sitting at one. Yeah, I should have kept... That's that's true. I should have kept one of these. I played an extra land that I didn't need to. I should have kept another land in hand because of Arc Bow. All right, that's game. They found another manipulation off that crisis. That that crisis was perfect, just actual perfect. If I just attack with my deputy, they just block with their deputy. Yeah, like we just bounce off deputies. All right, get the Tristani in here. Get the Frilled Mystic. Get these vetoes, extra spark double. No, some of those were summoning sick. I didn't have all those attackers on the ground. Some of those were summoning sick. Yeah, that was a pretty crazy game. That was a pretty crazy game for how little we had for so long. We had so little for so long. You get better TTV emotes. Yeah, that is something that I've never, never really looked into. Yeah, we were one life away. Last game. This isn't a fight you can win. 
No, I am not making this up as I go. I guess I could attack with the Paradise Druid there. They can't actually, yeah, they can't melt. They could have an Entrancing Melody that turn. Let's try this. I've done the hero thing before. Could really use land drops. I don't really know why why they do three and not four. Why don't they tap their land war elf? Huh, could have drawn another card. Here we go. We still never got that another land. I want to be able to play Shalai and have Veto up, but we still just don't have another land. I guess I hold Frilled Mystic back to protect Teferi, I guess. They just try to steal Lyra. That's how they deal with Lyra is by stealing it. I don't know. Like, I could be, like, bouncing my own Frilled Mystic here. Not a lot of things I could... But then if I bounce the, my own Frilled Mystic, then they get to attack and kill my Teferi, and do I want that? I uh, considered you know, deputying the Elves. But yeah, I... Definitely wanted to try to hit a land drop, for sure, there. I've got it. Just playing arena these days. Do this every day, streaming here. That's more like it. Now if they steal Shalai, I'll just, you know, bounce, you know, I'll just bounce my Shalai back to my hand. <laughs> That's true, we have not seen an Arc Bow, like, 
in forever. In forever. I've got time. And we did hit the land, so we're gonna be able to play Shalai and another Teferi. So we were We're so close to having the 2-0 here. We were so close to winning that game one. We'll see if we can still finish this out here on the draw now. <laughs> yeah, we do have a lot of anti-steal stuff. I've generally had some pretty good success in this matchup. Because I have played against this matchup a ton. And so... So this kind of hand, we want to draw Shalai, play Shalai on turn three, and then play Spark Double and copy it. That's our main combo. Yep, this is the Band Arcbow deck. No, you want, you want Knight of Autumns in this deck. I wouldn't take them out of the sideboard. They're very useful. Got to kill those enchantments. Got to kill those frenzies and stuff like that. I was hoping they did not do... I was hoping they didn't do that. I was hoping they didn't have that card. Come on, land drops. No, we need lands. Where's our lands? We kept a three lander, right? Yeah, we kept a 3-lander. Okay, there we go. Now we're doing it. Oh, wait. I have Frilled Mystic in my hand. Dang it. I, I definitely should have shocked in there. Uh, yeah, that's. I expected them to have theirs. For sure. I don't know why I didn't shock in. Sorry. I was just I was just thinking about like how I was going to be playing around Frilled Mystic. And then, yeah, I just didn't, <laughs> I didn't shock and keep my own up. <laughs> Distracted by cats.
Oh, don't top deck anything good, please. Oh, please don't top deck something good. Behold, nature's true power. Just let me untap and have Frilled Mystic, please. Just let me untap. Please don't top deck something this one turn. Okay. Whew. All right, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. I guess I do need to deal with this Nissa though. I guess maybe I have to take another turn off and play a Dawnbringer here. To deal with this Nissa. Yeah. I gotta hope they don't top deck again. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta hope they whiff for a turn here. Because I, I have to attack the Nissa. I don't think I should let them ultimate next turn. Just whiff for a turn. Then I'll have Frilled Mystic and Arcbow up. The land for us. I know I said a turn last turn, but I really mean it this time. Okay. Good. I guess if I do play this... So what, we go to seven? We go to seven, they attack in with everything. No, they can't kill me. I don't need to play the spark double. I mean, I could play spark double and still have Frilled Mystic up, but I just don't need to. Oh no, Krasis. Oh, this looks like a Krasis. Yeah, no, Deputy says non-land permanent, so no, you cannot Deputy these things. Oh no, it's a manipulation? I would love it to be, I'd rather it be manipulation than Krasis. I want manipulation here. Dang it, it's Krasis. draw so many cards drew six cards it was that big all right let's see if we hit just hit shalai here let's see if we get really lucky and hit shalai shalai please come on deck Voice of Plenty. Voice of Plenty. Nope. Guess we're going to deputize the Incubation Druid, I guess.
cannot protect you anymore. Because I was, I was killing. I'm killing the Nissa with the Dawnbringer, so that's why I didn't deputy the the Nissa. So I just taking, you know, taking away three mana from them. You know, triple stone raining them. Now we're just looking for Shalai. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of cards. Look at eight cards, that's a lot. Of... Well, gotta find Shalai, right? That's eight cards, so many. Yeah. So I guess they could have, uh, I guess they could just have their own Frilled Mystic again. So I probably shouldn't cast something because Frilled Mystic. The problem is we just put our other Spark Double down to the bottom. So we don't really have anything good to get with arc bow right now. Yeah. Yeah, mono red can definitely get to mythic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Mono red's really good. And so yeah, even they have to kill Shalai and then manipulate like our whole battlefield and for like one turn and then try to like do 24 to us because we'll get it all back with Tristani. That's a pretty good matchup for us. We were so close to winning all three games. Man, this is... All right, so number 739. Is that good enough for top 1,000 in 16 hours? Probably not. I think we need to win one more. But yeah, look at this. This has been, it's been a, like a long time since I've reset this. So I'm going to reset it here real quick. Yeah, it was a good game there. GG's. So the reason why I didn't double up Shalai that turn is because I was scared of Frilled Mystic, honestly. Hey, Gusta. I don't need to get top one. I just, yeah, top thousand. Yeah, top thousand gets the invite. I can also just, you know, play tomorrow. You know, if if this drops too much, I can just play tomorrow. You know, like, obviously, we have 16 hours. So um, let's get one more game in, though. Let's get one more. Mm -hmm. Last time, last month, I was at like 500 or 600 or something like that the night before and, and fell down quite a bit. But I didn't fall down very much last night at all. I was like... Yeah, like 1,050 when I went to bed last night, and then earlier today I was at like 1114 or something. You know, I really didn't fall very much. So maybe... Probably one more win and we're good. What was what the heck was Naya Party Bus? It was a Naya deck with Lumbering Battlement. Because Lumbering Battlement is just a party bus card. And so, yeah, that, that's that deck. It's pretty sweet. Trust me. You'll thank Get out of here, Ascanta. I have a plan. Yeah, I have a plan. It's not you having an Ascanta. 
And no, I'm not attacking for two and letting the Hexproof gone. Not going to do it. I'm not going to, like, attack for two, and then they play their own Teferi and bounce my Paradise Druid and get to draw a card and set me back. No, forget that. If they want to play a Paradise... If they want to play a Teferi, they don't get to minus. Let's slow this down. I've got it. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right, but now Enough. if they minus and bounce the Paradise Druid that kills their Teferi, and then I can just ditch the Paradise Druid to Arcbow. They could, of course, just minus on the Arcbow, but oh well. I'll protect you. That's fine. I just want to cast. That's more like it. I guess I should just cast this. Start up arc bowing next turn with six mana. Just better chance of us not whiffing with six. Um, I would be playing this deck, Cobb. No, I am not making this up as I go. All right, well, I guess that was, that didn't work out. Don't worry, I got this. I guess I could spark double my Teferi. I don't think I need to do that though, <laughs> but I guess I could. All right, I we're gonna see if we, Do we get super lucky and hit Shalai? If you show remorse, I'll show. Let's skip to the good part. I think we can do it. All right, Shalai time. Shalai. Dang. Oh, I should have just tried to frill Mystic that to Fairy. Kind of forgot about Frilled Mystic. All right, well that's my bad. I should have Frilled Mystic that to Fairy. Yeah, I was just focused on the Shalai and and Hawkeye over here and stuff. Here we go. Time for plan B, as soon as I think of one. Yeah, this is my playlist, Ian Ray. You can find it right this there. Might be a bad idea. You know what? I'm not done yet. All right, yeah, I messed that up. Kaya? I mean, they're tapping out, so I might as well. But I don't really like Kaya. I mean, I don't think Kaya is really that good. But just in case we have Frilled Mystic and, like, nothing else. Which is basically what we have here. So 
Do I want to Oketra plus Paradise Druid? I guess I, I could spark double Might to Fairy and bounce this as Kanta again. <clears throat> could do that. Yeah, stopping, like, slowing down as Kanta is really valuable. You think there's no reason not to just go Oketra Paradise Druid? The reason not to do that is then they just have a Kaya's Wrath, and... I can't, I can't, I can't do Oketra and Spark Double. I cannot do that. Um, I can't, I, I don't have the mana for that. All right, we're going to force their hand with the Wrath. You can't play your cards from hand with Arcbow. But yeah, we could just like get, you know, a random card, s send the Paradise Druid out. Like Arcbow does not let us get zombies, of course, and we can't play Oketras. Yeah, I need I need a, another computer. I need it. That's what I've, we've kind of found out is I need to buy a second computer. I've got it. I don't know exactly what I need in a second computer or how to set that up or anything. I I don't know what to do. All I know is I need to spend money on another computer. Don't worry, I got this. Which I'm willing to do. I just don't know anything else besides that. I don't know what kind of second computer I'm supposed to buy. I don't know how I would even set it up or anything like that. But I know I'm supposed to buy a second computer. At least at least we figured that out. Figured out it's not internet troubles or anything like that. I'm most likely going to be discarding this Oketra to Arcbow. Not this turn, not for three mana, but just like in the future. I don't think I'm going to be casting it again. Yeah, so I, basically instead of having... Instead of just having my Frilled Mystic discarded, I might as well just put it on the battlefield. This might be a bad idea. I don't like where we're at anymore, though. With them having Ascanta. There are so many mysteries Flipped. with thoughtfulness before action.
Wow. How about they ditch Cleansing Nova? So I took Growth Chamber Guardian because that kills Narset instead of just exiling Narset for a little bit with Deputy. I won't forget our time together. That's more like it. No reason to expose our creature to a thought erasure in hand, considering um, they can't play instant speed things. How many Frilled Mystics have I seen? All right, all three. There's only three in the main deck. So we've seen all of them. That's what I thought. Thanks, Prigor. My prowess is unmatched by my How many sweepers do y'all think that they have? They've played two Kaya's Wraths, and or they have two Kaya's Wraths and one Cleansing Nova in the graveyard right now. And good thing I didn't activate Growth Chamber Guardian earlier. Wow, I'm getting rid of Othakaya. That's a good card, too. Kills my Teferi. I've got time. My mind needs a rest. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I don't have any Frilled Mystics left. Let's hey, it's all good, an Antlers. GG's. What? What? Oh, you're... No did we just play against you a little bit ago? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll try to get Shalai here. You just at the tail end of an eight hour session. Yeah, that will make you not play so well. Really? Nine cards, no Shalai's? No, 
I am not making this up as I go. Oh, you were in blue green thief, and then yeah, that that lethal crackback that we had there. That okay, yeah, you you tapped too much mana. Interesting. Interesting. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. I I don't know. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I honestly don't really know why they didn't kill Deputy and get their Teferi back. And they killed the Growth Chamber Guardian instead. Sorry I'm late. Game's taking so long. Yeah, that's Esper Control for you. Yeah, I, I'm hoping they're kind of out of Wraths. They've gone through three Wraths so far. They're kind of playing like they're out of Wraths. Yeah, it's game one. Huh. I'm known for my excellent I won't hide from the world any longer. Well... I have a plan. All right. Only time will tell. Okay. I'm sorry I have to do this. I'll protect you. The big problem here is I don't have another land to protect this deputy, unfortunately. The Paradise Druid was a nice draw, though, because that thing has Hexproof. So they can't just, they can't Teferi Emblem kill my Paradise Druid. You just let me know if you're up for round two. No, not gain three. Ugh. Gross. We need to move quickly. Oh, 
Battle with Vakaya, gain three. We will meet again. I just run out of cards. I see. Every day is a new lesson. Gross. I've, they've already gotten rid of my spark double. Yeah, I don't have a spark double anymore. Here we go. Yeah, they have 19 cards left. I think I'm dead. Should have seen that coming. Hold that thought. This is hardly my worst defeat. Hone your control. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Oh, this is tough. This was a tough game. It's us or them. You choose them. My students are loyal geniuses. This is hardly my worst defeat. It's a tough game. All right, well, let's get these vetoes. Another Teferi. Uh, Frilled Mystic. Immortal Sons. So deputy's coming out, baffling end is coming out. Maybe I just want three to ferry. Playing the Oketra instead of leaning on the Arcbow. Did get a lot of their resources away. It did, it did uh, get rid of a good amount of their resources playing the Oketra. If I leaned on Arcbow instead of them using their Teferi to bounce the token, they would have Teferi bounced the Arcbow, and then I would have still played Sorcery Speed like that turn. Because uh, the little Teferi would have bounced Arcbow. No, going to game two. No. That was a very good long game.
Uh, ending the night with some uh, really long, tough, difficult games. So here we go. Let's hope that we don't get run over. Oh, gosh. Arkbo, you're so good, but I need land. That's sad. We got four Arkbos in here for a reason. <laughs> Can we draw a third land, please? Yeah, we would like to draw a third land. Just, against just, an, <clears throat> just an impulse. I won't counter that. That was a really good card for them to find off the impulse. That forces out Frilled Mystic. Well, maybe they don't have a wrath. Right on schedule. Well, they're probably not bouncing that if they have a wrath. There goes nothing. Ugh. Only time will tell. Come on, draw land, please. And we are the future. Land, land, land. Land, land. Oh, come on. That's rude. I know I could play Llanowar Elf here to try to set up a Mortal Sun, but I don't think that's really a, a very good, like as good of a line for us. We'll just take another spell out of the deck to make it a little more likely. You know, obviously not very much, but very small percentage chance to make it a little bit more likely to draw land. If I if I do play the Llanowar Elf over that line that I just had, it makes 
I don't know. It makes like makes it a lot more obvious that I really need that mana. Looks like here's a command the dread horde. This isn't a fight you can win. In unison, like wind and wave. Let's try this. All right, come on, land, please. Meditate and prepare. Ooh, we did it. All right, so I don't get to draw two cards a turn because of Narset. So I'm only drawing one card a turn, but no, the cleansing Nova. I'll protect you. I have just the trick for this. Ah. Yeah, still drawing one card a turn. <laughs> that didn't change. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. At least we can be good against Oath of Gaia. I forgot they were playing Command the Dread Horde, to be honest. Just not super used to command the dread horde still like in these kind of control decks i could have pressured their life total more and i kind of regret not pressuring it more that's not going to do anything all right good job growth chamber guardian way to way to be way to be Bastards beat us. Tis all the corporation. Bring the margaritas. Them getting my Lyra with a command the dread horde can be could like just devastate me. I kinda wanna take the Lyra out, honestly, because of that. Yeah, I'm going to take the Lyra out, like the Lyra's out, because honestly that can just be super devastating. And then yeah, I should have had Trist I should have had Tristani in, because not only it's it's not only good against Command the Dread Horde, it's also just like a card that makes th like one card making three bodies, so like it doesn't just trade one for one with a removal spell like Lyra does. This Steely Down this uh Steely Dan album Everything Must Go is super underrated. Even though this album came out, you know, like 40 years after their heyday or whatever, this was still a very underrated album. Cause we're going out of business. Everything must go.
in the service elevator. It's day from acquisition. Wants to get in on the action. All right, Yud, you're out for the night. Have a good one. Everything must go. I know my responsibility. No, my druid. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one, too. So in case of Thought Erasure, I'm waiting on Growth Chamber Guardian. Join my cause. Yeah, assuming that Cleansing Nova is just a one of. I've seen one each game. I, I don't really imagine they're playing more than that. I should have played this Girl Chamber Guardian first. The future is lost. Well, I'll miss out on one point of damage here. Nope, they have two of them. That's bad for me. These cleansing novas. They're getting me. Yeah, it's a lot of narsets. Some narsets and cleansing novas. And future are bound keep an open mind. I need to draw more spells. Wow, the playset of Narset. The focused and disciplined encounter no. That's why it's Narset. I get it. All right, you have a set of them. Okay. Nary a set. I understand now. Now we're playing uh, Bant Arcbow right now. Yeah, let's shuffle it up. Shuffle it up. What was going to be on top? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Let's try this. Shuffle it up again. Whew. Land, 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 land on top. I can no longer stand by and watch. I've got time. Can we draw another Immortal Sun, please? They gotta be out of Cleansing Novas. 
We draw a Mortal Sun or Arc Bow. Or Frilled Mystic or Dovin's Veto. It's only a matter Any of, of those. Uh, land. Brick for two turns. Come on, opponent. Just brick. How about you draw some lands? So many lands. I've got it. Okay. Okay. So I have to attack to fairy for that, which then lets them gain two life. Nah, let's just attack them. Brick. Concede? Okay. Concede? This might Nothing? be a bad idea. No. Uh Come on. Y'all know I can't counter anything, right? Why are y'all saying GG? Like, I'm, I'm dead GG? Just, do I play this Frilled Mystic out right now? I mean, I guess why wouldn't I? Come on, whiff. I guess I don't even really know how they could whiff. Cause, oh, because they could minus their Teferi and bounce my Growth Chamber Guardian. Man, we were so close. I guess I should have killed Teferi. And then, because after we drew the Veto, because then we drew a Frilled Mystic. And then it felt real bad for not killing Teferi. They did not whiff, though. Their two draws were Moment of Craving and Ascanta. Jeez. Those are, that is not whiffing at all. I am not going to sit this one out. Like, after playing the Oath of Kaya, my three draws were Hallowed Fountain, Veto, and Frilled Mystic. None of them did anything. And theirs were Moment of Craving, Ascanta. You need to take a time out. Trust me, I have a plan. No, I can't. I cannot counter with anything through to fairy. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Could we draw like an arc bow or something? Or another immortal sun? They killed our one. Can we get an immortal sun or, I don't know, something besides lands? Just any spell, please. No, I am not making this up as I go. Okay, spell. Right on schedule. Spell's better than not a spell. Don't worry, I got this. Well, the one damage, I mean, they ended up at two. Oh, but you're saying that like at the very end, I could have like attacked them for three. Well, if that's the case, the they would have used their Teferi to bounce. Like, they had they had the opportunity to bounce Here my Frilled Mystic. Like, the one damage wasn't going to kill them. We needed two. Don't 
worry. I got this. He's drawn so many lands. So many lands. No, I don't have any Growth Chamber Guardians Hurry. left. Man, both these games we lost were so close idea. to winning. As Kanta is just unbeatable here, though. I mean, so is, like, Teferi ticking up. Like, the only way I can possibly win is if I top deck Immortal Sun. And they don't have any more answers to it. And they've, like, used all their answers to Immortal Sun. Like, that's the only way I can win. Is top decking Immortal Sun. Should have seen that coming. Well, I was, you know, hoping to get rid of that Teferi so I could have this veto available, but... So there we go. Showcrasher with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Showcrasher. Nope, they have an answer to it. Good game. That was my only hope, is that they didn't have an answer. Man, what a, what a very long, good, close match. And I didn't quite get there. Ugh, that knocked me way down. Anyway, I got I have to go tonight though. It is too late. It's 11, 11 p.m. And I've, that's too late for me. Ugh, what a what a great what a great match. So not in top thousand. I'm gonna have to tomorrow before stream. I'll just have to play some and get back up top thousand. All we need was just to win that one match, and then we were like pretty much locked we we're gonna be really good but ggs so close didn't quite get there ggs so have a wonderful night everybody uh, i'll be back on tomorrow like always um so yeah thanks everybody for watching um it was a real good night yeah that was a really good stream for sure uh if you're watching this video later on on youtube i guess i should finish that out um yeah this this deck's still really good this is definitely my favorite deck um yeah it went really well uh just barely lost those those two games uh but yeah if you're watching on youtube please hit the like button i'd really appreciate